Wait, remember Tough Puppy? Coming from Fairly Odd Parents creator Butch OS man on his next big outing after Danny Phantom and before Bunsen Burner. I don't know why I'm attacking Bunsen as a beast. I haven't seen it. But what I have seen is Tough Puppy. Hi, thanks for being here. But also, yes, I took the plunge to check out the animated show starring your boy, Jerry Trainer. So as someone who has only seen a handful of episodes when the show was originally airing, I thought it would be a fun one to revisit to see just what the show was all about. Tough Puppy was a Nickelodeon TV series about a dim-witted but good-natured mixed-breed dog named Dudley Puppy, as he worked as a secret agent, alongside his partner Kitty Catswell for Tough, which stands for That's Unfortunate for Freddy, which is how I felt seeing him constantly taking L's in the iCarly 2021 revival. Or it stands for the Turbo Undercover Fighting Force, a crime-stopping organization that operated behind the scenes throughout the fictional city of Petropolis, which is totally not Zootopia. The citizens of Petropolis, if you haven't picked up on it yet by Dudley being a dog, are anthropomorphic animals. Again, not Zootopia. This came first. Tough Puppy premiered on October 2nd, 2010, alongside Planet Sheen. No! The series ran until April 4th, 2015 on Nickelodeon's main channel for a total of three seasons or 60 episodes. 26 episodes in season one and two, but only eight in season three. The protagonist Dudley Puppy is this hyperactive agent of Tough, who was recruited almost accidentally during the events of the first episode. When Dudley's chew toy rolls into the evil lair of Petropolis villains Snap Trap, Francisco, Bad Dog, and Leather Teddy, I feel like there's a joke here that kids aren't supposed to get. Oh, wow. He wanders in after it, unknowingly interfering with an active tough operation. He then sequentially, accidentally defeats all three of the villains, capturing them for Tough, all while just trying to retrieve his chew toy. And Snaptrap got away. Tough brings Dudley back to their headquarters to interrogate him on his involvement in the crimes committed by the bad guys. There, a DNA test reveals that Dudley is the perfect mix of all dog breeds, having access to the best quality of each breed. This fact, combined with his success earlier in the day in fighting crime, gets him recruited into Tough by the Chief. And who else to play that role of the Chief than Darren Norris himself. Dudley is assigned to work with Kitty Catswell, played by Gray Griffin, an anthropomorphic cat in a black jumpsuit and one of Tuff's best agents. As a fully trained agent, Kitty is skilled in martial arts and anything kick butt in general. She's also pretty short tempered and with the occasional tendency to fall prey to her own animal instincts to chase birds and claw things, and cough up a hairball. <laughs> When Dudley and Kitty first meet, she initially doesn't like him, playing the whole cats versus dogs trope, but over time, she warms up to Dudley and ends up being one of his best friends. Dudley and Kitty are assigned missions by the earlier mentioned chief, a strict, good-natured flea who used to be Tuff's top field agent before retiring to desk work. His tiny size is a reoccurring joke throughout the series, used for various comedic situations. Every dog has his day, and this one has his own TV show. Tough Puppy is next. It's time for another episode of The Secret Agent that only has one thing on his mind, Doggy Treats. Another tough puppy is next. Also working at Tough alongside Dudley and Kitty is Kelswick, the resident tech whiz who creates all of Tough's gadgets and inventions. Kelswick retains this position within Tough despite most of his inventions being too unpredictable to ever actually be useful. So dangerous and unpredictable actually that more often than not, those inventions result in the major problem of the episode. Keswick is some type of unspecified animal. The mystery of Keswick's species is never really addressed, with him just continuously being referred to as Keswick. Kitty and Dudley spend their time as agents of Tough, fighting various supervillains and stopping crime as they pop up throughout Petropolis. Dudley, having been raised by his mother's strict moral code, is strong, good-hearted, and destined to stop all badness and meanness in its tracks. If that ain't the toughest statement I've ever heard, then I don't know what is. Most of Tough's villains are in one way or another members of Doom. The dang oversized obtuse moose. Okay, it's really the diabolical order of of mayhem. An evil organization that works to commit crime and take over the world under the leadership of verminous snap trap. That's like the top two things a villain always wants to do. Mess some stuff up and run everything. Verminous snap trap is the craze leader of doom and the only rat in the world who is allergic to cheese. An allergy that has plagued him so much that he went crazy and formed the criminal organization he leads. You know what? I've said it for years. Give a man no cheese. He'll bring the world to its knees. What do you mean by that? Throughout Tough Puppy, Verminous acts as Dudley Puppy's nemesis, mirroring him in a myriad of ways. Both characters are immature and have a tendency to be airheads, N not the candy. Dudley though, unlike Verminous, often shows the potential for intelligence, noticing things others would not and piecing together villainous plots before they're revealed. Other villains introduced through the series, either as members of Doom or as independent agents, include the Chameleon, a shape-shifting chameleon who uses a stolen molecular transformation suit to morph himself into any person or anything with this ability 
ability playing off the chameleon's natural ability to change its color to blend into its surroundings, and is voiced by Darren Norris. Man, is there a character this beautiful person can't play? Like, we already have Jerry Trainer in this. That's all you need for the cell. But Darren Norris, ooh, yeah, I'm calling out of work. You're lucky if this video comes out on time. The chameleon is originally introduced as a hitman hired by Verminous to get revenge against Kitty Catswell for putting him in jail numerous times. He is considered one of Tuff's most competent villains, being a criminal genius who is vengeful, bitter, intelligent, and crafty, thus posing much more of a threat than Verminous. Despite that, he is also shown to be rather absent-minded, which often leads to his demise. So even the smart ones, uh, they're, they're not so smart. Like I said earlier, Tough Puppy was created by Butch Hartman as his third series for Nickelodeon, following his success with Fairly Odd Parents and Danny Phantom. Butch Hartman, whose real name is Elmer Earl Hartman IV, this isn't relevant or anything, I just think it's funny, got his start with Nickelodeon in 1998 when he created the Fairly Odd Parents as a part of the series of seven-minute shorts for Nickelodeon and Fred Seibert's Oh Yeah Cartoons, an animation showcase that ran as part of the Nicktoons line up from 1998 to 2002. The showcase allowed filmmakers a chance to create seven-minute cartoons for the network that the network, in turn, could try out as potential new shows without the commitment of making a full pilot. I don't know how many times I've mentioned Oh Yeah Cartoons and Fred Seibert this month alone, if you've seen any of my videos, but dang, somehow all this content has been related to that. Almost like, I planned it or something. Just wait till you see what I've planned for December. Up next, Tough Puppy. Let's do this! On Nick. I'm Jerry Trainer, voice of Deadly Puppy. Hartman's seven-minute short of the Fairly Odd Parents was chosen alongside My Life as a Teenage Robot and Chalk Zone to be made into full-length series, getting Hartman's first marketed success as a show creator. Hartman has stated that he first came up with the concept for Tough Puppy by creating the central character of Dudley, and then deciding he wanted a crime-fighting show based around him. Since Hartman's last show, Danny Phantom, was already about superpowers, Hartman decided to go the secret agent route in the concept. Hartman initially pitched the series to Nick under the name Stud Puppy before it was changed to Tough Puppy to reference the crime-stopping organization the show is centered around. When he first pitched the show to executives, he described it as get smart, but with a dog. That's a sentence. Eric Baza, a talented voice actor, was originally supposed to voice Dudley Puppy for Butch. While both Nickelodeon and Hartman were impressed by Baza's talents, to Hartman he was just not quite right for the role. According to an episode of Speech Bubble with Butch Hartman, Baza had a tendency to feed into the dog aspect of the character, kind of growling in a way that Hartman found funny, but not quite in line with the tone of the series. Well, at least he was cast as guard number one in the show for an episode. It was while the production was still looking for voice actors that a storyboard artist suggested that they audition Jerry Trainer, better known as Spencer Shea on iCarly or Crazy Steve on Drake and Josh, for the role. During the callback process, Hartman and Trainer hit it off immediately and Trainer got his first real voice acting credit. Why the show was cancelled has never really been confirmed, as is the most cases. But the general vague assumption is that the network must have just been unsatisfied with the ratings leading to the ending of the show. It didn't receive the highest of reviews, but by its cancellation it left the show at a weird place. It felt unfinished with only having eight episodes in the final season. But I will say that personally it brought me back to that classic feeling of the Fairly Odd Parents that in my childhood I loved so much. I, I mean I still love the classic Fairly Odd Parents now, but the initial viewings of the show were a huge thing to me back then. And so since the animation is very similar and done mainly by the same people, those feelings started to come rushing back. Now that doesn't mean I think that this is an amazing show that warrants your time right now to drop everything and watch. But I do, in some aspects, think it's kind of underrated. Sure, some jokes are pretty childish throughout, but there is this level of spy action campiness that I do really enjoy. Plus, having voice talent like Jerry Trainer, Darren Norris, and many others that I very much also enjoy only further the reason for me to like it more than I assume most would? <laughs> Doggy door. I don't know where you all fall on that. Do you like or even enjoy this show? Or was it nothing special in your eyes? Let me know in the comments. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Follow me on Twitter or else. I'll be back with another video soon, but until then, later.